Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. That means the lovely Matt, the mortgage guy, comes back. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Mike. It's always good talking to you, brother. Yeah, man, it's great. And thank you for all you do. Again, I get great feedback from people in the one rental at a time course and people that follow the channel. They send me little notes on the side saying, yeah, he is he is who he is. So I appreciate you and everybody at your company for helping us out. Cool. Yeah, I got to give a lot of credit to a lot of help because as you can imagine, hmm. you know, the hundreds of people that that are trying to connect with us, I'm only one guy. I could, yeah. I could only scale so much. And so, you know, even, you know, people that, that, you know, aren't filling out the forms and they find my cell phone number and they text me, I'm trying to get you to somebody to help you. You know, right. I might not be able to personally respond. And sometimes I feel bad, you know, I'll get a yeah. random text from a random state like, Hey, do you got five minutes for this? You got 10 minutes for that. If I took 10 minutes for every person that texts me, I would not do any business. Right. Yes. I would just <laughs> and, and you wouldn't sleep. <laughs> right. Right. So, you know, I'll get you connected with somebody that, that can help you out. And, and that's the, the good news is that I, have great team members yeah. who can help you, you know, on my team. And I've got great people to refer you to. And yeah. sometimes that's stuff we don't do, right? It's, you know, a lot loan or it's a home equity line of credit or something like that. Yeah. So happy to help. Yeah, I love it. Well, hey, something I want to do here is, dude, we are six weeks away from 2022. Can you believe that? It's wild. Yeah, this year flew by. So yeah. what I thought I would do, given you're the Matt, the mortgage guys, I would ask you some questions about 2022. Again, these questions are going to be about December 31st, 2022. So about 13 and a half months from now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the topic, give you my number and allow you to go over under. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like the over under action. Yeah. That way I put my name on the number and then that way you just, <laughs> you just say, dude, you're so stupid. You're wrong. Or, well, or yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if I'm slightly over, slightly under, or like um, I'm, I'm way off of your prediction. Exactly. So again, in mortgage business, we're going to talk about rates first. We're going to do owner occupants, best credit, the ones that's often quoted in the news. I think I saw this morning, it was 3.23. So mortgage rate, that borrower, uh, December 31st of 2022, I'm going to say 3.8 to 3.9 is the rate then. So about 60 points higher. I'm going to go slightly under. Oh, okay. So you're like three, yeah. and a quarter, three and three quarters? Three, seven, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, seven, five. I, I think that was the number that I pegged yesterday. You know what I should do when I'm talking to different folks? Because I was a buddy of mine from, from Maryland who uh, I was on his podcast last night. Um, I should do different predictions on different channels. That way, <laughs> <laughs> eventually you're right. Next, next year I'll have something to be like, look, I told you guys. Yeah. Look at that one. Don't look at these other ones. Yeah, look at right, that. Right. That's, that's yeah. Crazy. I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be high threes. I, I think that, you know, three, seven, five is, is where I'm going to stake my flag. So I'll be slightly uh, okay. under on that. All right. Uh, next up, I want to ask you, do you think there's going to be um, either brand new or increased focus on first time home buyers? programs, whether that's credits or incentives or something special for them created next year? Man, that's a good question because um, it's a fine balance between, you know, I, I know that the, 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 the want to do it is there, certainly from the, the powers that be. I don't know how fast they can implement it. And I don't know that I'm going to say no. And I'm going to, okay. yeah. And, and as much as like, there's, there's probably a ton of people, you know, in power that want to be able to say, look at what I did. I did this specific, I did this program. I'm going to remind buyers that there's always a cost. You know, when, when you look in your local market and you go, oh, they've got down payment assistance. I'm a first time buyer. I can get it. I promise you that this year and last year, all I've done is let people cry on my shoulder that regret getting down payment assistance. They can't really? refinance. Oh, They've got second in. and thirds that are, that are accruing interest. And you know they didn't realize what they were signing up for. Now, a government program comes out, it might be different, but it's gonna be similar in that, yes, you've got this program with assistance, but now you're paying 10% more for your house. That's and exactly, so that's where I'm at. We, we, we have a supply problem, not a demand problem. But unlike you, my answer is yes. They are going to announce a program. It's going to be, it's going to be meaningful for most of the country. Like California, New York, these high-priced areas, probably not. But most of the country, we are going to see increased demand at the exact wrong time. Right. And I, and 
going to jack and, the price. And so you're, you're saying announced. You're not necessarily saying implemented. But well, it's going to be announced with... sometime next year, and it will be enough to spur demand. Okay. That's what I'm All saying. Right. I hope they call me. I hope they call me and run it by me so they don't screw it up. All but right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll put it out there. This lives on. So yeah, <laughs> reach out to Matt, the mortgage guy. Uh, right. He will take your phone call. FHFA. Yeah. Whatever FHFA. housing departments are, are working on this stuff. Give me a call because, because we don't want unintended consequences and we don't want, you know, yeah. to, to basically, you know, give someone a dollar and take $5 from them. Yeah. Well that, and what I really don't want is I don't want to see people once again on, on the property ladder, which I think is awesome only to be kicked off two years later. Right. We can't, we can't do that again. Right. All right, so here's here's one that's kind of fuzzy, but I think you'll I think you'll take a swag at it. Do you think lending to homeowners and investors, maybe we answer both. So we'll do a homeowners and an investor because the answers might be different. Do you think lending gets easier or stricter uh, by this by December 31st of next year? I think easier. For both or one of them? Um it's it's if, if, if I were to pick which one's more likely to become easier, I think owner Ock. Me too. Um, but, you know, I, I had this conversation come up recently where somebody was saying, you know, is it going to get harder and are they going to put things in place? And my answer was like, it's already there. We're already in a place where very, very responsible lending is going on. You know, I don't think that there's, there's any reason to make it more strict. Um, okay. And so like, I don't see it getting super loose, but I see like there can be some things looked at where they say, oh, you know, these things default to such a low rate. Yeah. We can maybe, you know, lessen this or lessen what we need here. So okay. I, you know, I don't think that much change, you know, needs to be done because I think that lending is 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 responsible and in a good place. Yeah. Me too. Uh, but if it were to go one way or another, I'd go a little bit looser. Okay. I like it. That's very cool. And then the last question, um, really not a rate discussion, but um, kind of in there is, do you see inventory rising at all? I mean, uh, do you think it's going to be, do you think the real estate slowdown happens, inventory, things of that nature goes up? Man, that's one of those things where it's like, do you answer what you think or do you answer what you want? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, because you continue to hear stuff about, you know, labor shortage, material shortage, yeah. and, and, and you look at graphs of, you know, how far behind builders are. And it's just, it seems like an impossible task. Yeah. Um, you know, the other factors are, you know, low interest rates, de-incentivizing people from moving and all this stuff where you're like, where does the, where does the relief come from? Where yeah. does the inventory come from? Um, so increased inventory as a, um, you know, eternal optimist and, and as, as somebody who's, who's hoping for it. Yeah. Yeah. What I, what I'm saying folks is if you just take inventory at 1.3 and again, 3 million is normal. I think we go up, I think we go to like 1.8, 1.9 million. So it's up 50%, but still not at that level. And maybe that's too aggressive because I think you're right. It's, it's, I don't know, get a first, it's just, I don't know. I'm taking a swag 14 months out. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Happens. So any other, any other thoughts or things that you want to talk about? You know, we're here 14 months from now. What do you think, what do you think transpired in the mortgage market? Well, some of the conversations I've been having is, you know, based on the simplest of things that most people should understand, you know, we don't see any influx of inventory. And even if rates go up a little bit, even if the Fed, you know, tweaks with the, you know, the, the Fed funds rate and we see long-term rates go up, um, most everybody whether it's a 4%, 6%, and some people are still 16% home price appreciation next year, we more than likely see higher prices and higher rates. Yes. And so, you know, what scares me when I look at notes and I've got 111 people pre-approved, ready to roll, could write a con, like could write an offer today. Some of the notes in my system, when my staff reaches out and says, hey, how's it going? How can we help? What's going on? We're going to hold off for now. Prices are high. And, and it scares me in a sense because- what are we waiting for? Right. Like there, I don't see any sale on the horizon. Yeah. And if you, if you have higher interest rates and a higher purchase price, we all want to know what that means to monthly payment and, you know, affordability. So, um, yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's interesting too, because a lot of people just see a higher price and think that like, you know, it's, it's ridiculously expensive like you've shown with the affordability index, when you take wages and you take those low interest rates, 
it's it's more affordable than most times in history. So exactly. um, I'm I'm hoping that you know without having to be a you know fast talking salesman, I can show people just yeah. the, the facts and the data and say if you're willing and able to buy right now. There's no reason to wait until next spring, until next fall, until, you know, you know, some wackadoo online talks about a 20%, you know, home price drop, you know, don't wait for that, please. Yeah. It's just math, folks. Do the math. Don't use opinions. Don't use feelings. Do the math. So uh, again, Matt, the mortgage guy, you are helping people across one rental at a time community across all 50 states. How do you want them to reach out? Because you give the truth and the real answer. The very best way for the fastest response, go to greatmortgagebroker.com, name, email, phone, where you're at, what you're looking to do. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. So um, greatmortgagebroker.com. That was set up, um, I think, starting with the one rental at a time uh, community, just because so many people were reaching out. <laughs> we wanted a way to you know, make sure that we get back to you. So that's, that's the very best way. If you search online and you find my cell phone number, or you find something like that, it might get lost in the shuffle. But if you go to greatmortgagebroker.com, we'll take good care of you. Very cool. Thanks, folks. Do yourself a favor. Reach out. Owner Ox, refis, investment loans. Have the conversation. Again, if you don't have 10 loans, call Matt, the mortgage guy. If you're over 10 loans, then go non-QM. That's why I bring you both uh, providers. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir.